Hello kids, today we will learn about the planets with astronaut Ali and Pluto. Let's begin. Astronaut Ali and the planets. Hello, learners. It's me, Pluto. Today, I'm going to show you all the planets. Hi Pluto, this is astronaut Ali, are you a planet? That's quite a story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Meet Mercury. To the Sun, it's also the closest. The smallest planet. Takes 88 Earth days to have a year. But its entire day takes Earth 176 days to clear. I have a question to raise. Should not years take longer than days? Well, that's not always the case. Planets move in two ways. First on its own axis like a dancer spinning around on one foot. And around the sun on a path called the orbit. I turn slowly on my axis, so my days are longer. In orbit I'm quick, so a year takes shorter. Hey kids, it's me, your astronaut friend, Ali. Do you remember what is an orbit? Any guess? Alright, let me tell you. An orbit is like the path a planet or a moon takes when it goes around another big thing in space, like Mercury around the Sun. I hope you will not forget. Now let's learn about Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun in our solar system. Venus spins clockwise on its axis while all other planets spin counterclockwise. This makes the planet upside down. Hello, buddies, Ali here again. Do you know difference between clockwise and counterclockwise? Think about it. All right, let's see the difference. Clockwise means turning or moving in the same direction as the hands of a clock. Counterclockwise, on the other hand, means turning or moving in the opposite direction to the way the hands on a clock move. Got it, let's move on. Planet number three is our very own. It is Earth. The one we call home. Do you know? 70% of its surface is water. Now we will learn about the fourth planet of the solar system. Mars. Also called red. Because of its reddish appearance. It has two moons. Deimos and Phobos. Mercury. Venus. Earth. And Mars. Are not just neighbors by the nearest star. But also compact balls of rocks. And metals. They are planets called rocky or terrestrial. Where are we off to next, Pluto? To the bigger planets? We go. The one with rings and another with a big spot. That's correct. Hey, watch out for the rocky objects floating. They're ancient debris when the planets are forming. We're in the asteroid belt, you see. Now we will meet. Jupiter. Hello, Jupiter. Hydrogen and helium make up its atmosphere. Nice, right? Hi there. A day is just 10 hours here. But my year is 11.8 in Earth years. Do you know kids? Me and my neighbors. Saturn. Both are visible from naked eye from the Earth's sky. And I have four sets of rings that are thin. For my pal Saturn. Guess how many? I have seven wider rings. All bright and icy. First seen by Galileo Galilei. Do you know? I am the prettiest of all planets. And. 82 moons keep me company. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Oh, yes because we're now near to the coldest planet out here. My name is Uranus. 
Like my neighbors I have rings. Dark ones and bright ones. Do you know how many? A total of 13, and, I'm blue-green, caused by sunlight and methane. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? I move almost 90 degrees on my side, this is how I rotate, and I'm alright. We've come so far, are we approaching another star? I'm afraid not, my friend. But hey. Here's our final planet. Here is Neptune. And it has 14 moons. I'm a bit rocky. And mostly blue and icy. My six rings are very hard to see. That's because I'm the farthest planet. I'm away from the sun by 30 astronomical units. Pluto, aren't you farther away? 39 astronomical units? Great! A big thanks to all planets for introducing themselves to all my learner friends. Now let me ask some questions from my friends. Which planet is known as the red planet? Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune. Mars. Which planet has water covering 70 of its surface? Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Earth. Earth. Which planet is moving almost 90 degrees on its side? Uranus. Mars, Jupiter, Earth, Uranus, 